You completely submerge before you come over to the ledge. Okay. All right, when you're ready. There you go. Get some good exhales. Water immersion was was definitely uh, something different. Good. I've never good. done something yeah, like good. that before, just like this course. Um, I didn't really get the shock like some people had, but it was awesome. right, definitely something to be aware yeah. of, right. and well, stuff ready, like man, that so can always happen, especially in some of these training environments. So it was a good experience. Okay. I would say I definitely came out of this course uh, feeling a lot more prepared for future cold weather incidents and or conducting operations in cold weather. So we take uh, students from all branches, all components. We have uh, Reserve, National Guard, uh, Active Component. We have Navy, Marine Corps, Air Force, Army, of course. Uh, we get them out here and we hand them the tools that are valuable with them through the system in the military. So the tents, the heaters, the Akio sleds, the skis, the snowshoes. Get them out in the environment, get them in the cold weather, into the moisture, into the snow, and we teach them how to use this and sustain with this equipment over an extended period of time. They took away our tents and our heaters, and then we went ahead and moved on to, all right, now we gotta figure out where we're gonna sub-shelter, how we're gonna do it, how to insulate properly with cutting down trees, laying down uh, pine needles, whatever we need to do. Um, and then using our tarps to go ahead and create the insulation and then putting stuff on top of that along with snow to create a uh, no, barrier on. and it was actually very warm. <laughs> yeah. Well, we get them from South Florida, South Texas. We've had Southern California students come up here. Uh, we get people from Northern Minnesota and Michigan like we have in this class. Uh, we have cadets, young kids that come through just starting out in the military and They've grown up in this region their whole life, and you know some of them, yeah, they've grown up here, but did they ever go camping in the winter or anything outdoors extensively? So this is the first time for them as well. Try to wedge and then go back to normal. How deep you can get and how tight you can bring your knees together. Pushing your knees together is what brings your skis up on the edge, and that's what's gonna slow you down. We gotta make sure that we are prepared for the cold weather environment. So that's why we're, a lot of us are moving towards that, hey, we need to go to Norway, do more training out there. But this right here will be a great practice for that Norway exp expedition. We try to be as open and workable with the unit as possible. So with uh, flight times, transportation, uh, unit cost, uh, with supply issues, lodging and all that. Um, we, we are, Fort McCoy has given quite a bit. Uh, as far as lodging and CIF and supply issues and, and meals and all that kind. So they take care of the units and the students. If it's still usable, you've got extra toilet paper. No, it was a great course. I would definitely recommend it. Uh, I hope more people get to come. It's, it's been an experience. I've loved it.